Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Microsoft Word Tutorial. Today we are going to see how to include checkbox, label and text box in Microsoft Word. So let's go to start, run, type it as WinWord. I'm using Microsoft Office 2003. And for this particular tutorial we need a toolbar called Control Toolbox. If this one is not visible, just go to Tools, click on Customize. Under Toolbox tab, make sure you put a tick mark right before Control Toolbox. Just close this. To begin the tutorial, let's type a question. Which places you would like to visit? So for this, let's provide four options. Come back to this Control Toolbox, click on Design More. And let's click on the checkbox. Let's add four of them enter click again enter click again enter and one more click again go back to checkbox one you select that and then right click on it and go to properties under properties window under alphabetic tab go to caption and let's give uh, whatever we want I'm going to give it as South Africa and again go to the top of the properties window select the drop select the drop down list go to checkbox 2 as you can see uh, whatever checkboxes we have added get gets listed here so let's go to checkbox 2 and let's give a name Hawaii checkbox 3 Switzerland for Austria. So let's close this and let's exit the design mode and check whether our options are working perfectly. So the main purpose of having checkbox for a question is to enable the user to give more than one answer for that question. So let's see. I want to visit Hawaii, Switzerland and Austria. So it seems like everything is working fine. So what if some people's favorite place is not listed here and they too wanted to answer this question. Let's go back to the design mode and include a label. Uh, let's include a label enter and a text box and let's make the text box a bit bigger again select the label right click on it and go to properties and the alphabetic tab go to the caption and give it whatever you want let's say others please specify so let's close this so if the text is not properly visible just let's extend the label a little bit to make the text visible perfect so again we exit the design mode and, and if the person choosing quite a few places and some of the places which is not listed here for that he can explicitly specify those places right here in the text box which says please others please specify Canada US Germany Australia New Zealand as you can see, New Zealand is not quite visible. To make it visible, there is another option. You just go back to the design mode again. Right click on the text box and go to properties. Under alphabetic tab, go all the way down till you find multi-line. Make, make that value true instead of false. Immediately you can see 
as soon as your line touches the end of the text box automatically aligns the text properly also you can include scroll boss will include a vertical one if you want you can include both the things there is scroll bar both i'm going to include only vertical let's close this so the main purpose of vertical scroll bar is let's exit the design mode and let's continue typing singapore italy mexico uk russia china japan and whatever and as you can notice if the lines are more than the size of your text box it automatically includes a vertical scroll bar so that's how you include check boxes a label for the text box and the text box in microsoft word hope this tutorial is quite useful for you you have a great day thanks for watching